So today we're going to be talking about Shadow Assassin armor and how it can turn a broke player into a rich player. Now if you've watched any of my recent videos and my week to Hyperion episodes you'll see that I do flip Shadow Assassin quite a lot just purely because it's so good. But anyway without further ado let's get into the video I hope you all enjoy. So first of all there's a few things that we've got to understand. It sounds very basic and pretty stupid but a lot of people don't realise. There's three rarities of Shadow Assassin. One being epic, one being legendary and then one being mythic, basically recombob legendary. So when you're just starting off and you're flipping like the boots, the helmet and the leggings, what people tend to do is not realise that there's a price difference between the epic and the legendary. As you can see 1.9 mil for the legendary, 1.3 mil, 1.4 mil for the epic. Now you'll find a lot of people that will list legendary boots for like, well, basically epic market value, so at the moment 1.4 mil. And that there is easily a 500k profit. The same goes for the helmets and the leggings as well. So if you're new to AH flipping in general and you don't have too many coins, this is a great way to start off. It only requires like one and a half million coins and that's it. And then when you've, you know, built your coins up a little bit and you've got slightly more coins, you can then start flipping the chest plates. Now the chest plates is where the money is. It's not uncommon to make two and a half to three million coins off each flip like it is that good. Now in terms of chest plates, what you'd usually find is in terms of epic flips, they don't really usually come up too often in, um, in comparison to the legendary. But what you'll get is people listing them for like a mil under just so they get the sale straight away, which obviously then leaves you at least 800k profit when you obviously you've got tax as well. Uh, you get a lot of coin, uh, a lot of chest plates listed up for a million under bin. So you want to watch out for that. Usually you don't find too many that have good upgrades because usually you'll find that they're the legendary ones. And now you see here the legendary ones. Um, most of them won't be plain. Like the cheapest ones usually aren't plain because... If it's legendary, it's usually not playing. Like people have usually upgraded it. But regardless of that, what you be want, what you want to be watching out for um, with legendary chest plates is not only people listing them for the epic price by mistake, um, but like ancient enchantments, uh, hot potato, um, true protection, and stars as well. So as you can see here, the cheapest chest plate is twenty four point three mil, and the cheapest ancient five star hot potato is thirty mil. Um, so once again a lot of people will just list the Shadow, Shadow Assassin chest plate for the cheapest on the market. So you do find quite a lot that are 5 star ancient hot potato um, that are listed for literally lowest bin like 24 mil. And as you can see here if you pick one up for 24 mil it's quite easily a 6 million coin profit. Obviously you've got tax. It probably ended up being like a 5.5 to 5.7 mil profit but still that's ridiculous off one flip. And that's exactly what I did with this chest plate here. I bought this one for 22 million coins, sold it for 23.8. Um, this sold like half an hour ago so the prices have changed slightly. So I probably could have sold it for slightly more now. Um, but I literally bought it for 22 million coins. Like with the current market I would have made over 2 million coins profit. Now something else that you can do is obviously see this is epic. And this is legendary, so you might be thinking is there a way to upgrade them, and a lot of you probably already know. And the answer is livid fragments. Um, if you buy 8 livid fragments and surround the, uh, the actual piece of armour, um, then it upgrades the rarity from epic to legendary. Uh, legendary to mythic requires a recombobulator. So the this is especially good because um, most of the time to buy 8 of these it'll probably cost you like 5 to 600k. And most of the time the difference between an epic shadow assassin chest plate and a legendary shadow assassin chest plate is more than five to six hundred k. Like as you can see, this Shadow Assassin chest plate I sold earlier for twenty three point eight million coins. I bought it as epic for twenty one million. Um, spent around seven hundred k on the livid frag, so I spent less than twenty two mil on this chest plate and uh, sold it on for twenty three point eight. So I made roughly around two million coins profit on this one as well. Um, obviously, you've got to double check for the prices because at the moment um, the epic is actually quite high in price compared to the legendary, which is a bit unusual. But then again, earlier on, um, the epic chest plates were really cheap and the legendary chest plates were very expensive. So that's the best time when you can actually do the living frag up upgrade. Now, in terms of mythic shadow assassin armor in general, it does usually take a bit longer to sell. Um, although sometimes you can find really good like bargains, pretty much. Like, as you can see, uh, the cheapest boots are 6.2, the cheapest helmet is 6.4. Um, a lot of the time, you get people listing these for the lowest bin of the Epic or the Legendary as well, for whatever reason. And obviously, that's like over a 4 million coin flip. So, I'd say be careful with these because what seems like a good flip isn't always because they do take a while to sell. Um, but sometimes you can pick up some really good deals. The Shadow Assassin flips is basically the reason why I had quite a lot of money in the first place. And, well, when I say quite a lot, not really, but I probably made like my first 50 to 60 mil from like Shadow Assassin flips. 
and now I've just recently got back into the Shadow Sauce and chest plate flips which are just insane. But yeah, all in all, if you want to make coins and you have at least 1.5 million coins, um, then start doing this method, work your way up to the chest plate and you're good to go from there, you'll never look back. Now I know that a lot of people that have been watching my videos for a while will already know that I've covered this method, well it's not even, I'd just say I've covered how, this sort of way of making money before, um, but I thought there's quite a lot of new people here at the moment and I've not made a video that's really like this in a while, so I thought, bit of a throwback and um, yeah, I'd basically just reinform everyone of this method and just basically <sighs> ingrain that it's so good. But anyway, this is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new. But before I go, join the Discord server, because why not? And I'll see you in the next one.